What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, I thought it would be important to take a moment and look at what could potentially happen to GPU mining profitability after Flux has its halving. Now we are not very far away from Flux's halving. The time of recording is January 22nd, 2023. I think we've got roughly about two weeks before Flux's halving comes and it could potentially disrupt profitability for us GPU miners temporarily. And I created a spreadsheet to kind of illustrate what we could be looking at. So if that type of content is why you're here, do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So first of all, Flux is not calculated in mega hash. It's calculated in souls. And right now the total network hash rate for Flux is 6.38 megasouls or 6,380,000 souls. Now, I thought it would be best to simply use probably the most common GPU for mining or at least one of the most efficient, which would be the 3070. Now, the 3070 is going to get you roughly about 70 to 72 souls, and if you divide the entire network hash rate by a 3070, you're going to get about 88,611 3070s. And I took it one step further here and just kind of estimate, we're going to say 30% of that network hash rate migrates after the halving. And the reason I'm using 30%, we'll go ahead and take a look at what happened to Ravencoin after its halving in January of 2022. So in January of 2022, the total hash rate got up to 9.5 terahash. And shortly after, we dropped to roughly about 5 terahash. Now, it continuously went down from there, and we got all the way down to 2.29 terahash. But let's just say if we lost 30% or 30% of the network hash rate migrated to other coins, how could that potentially affect some of these other GPU mineable coins profits? So as you can see, in terms of 3070s, 30% 30 of Flux's total hash rate would be the equivalent of 26,583 3070s. Now of course, not all of that hash rate is going to migrate to a single coin, so we kind of took it another step here. Let's say one third of all of this hash rate migrates to another coin. That would be the equivalent of 8,772 3070s. This would be one fourth, this would be one fifth, and this would be one sixth. Now I thought this was really interesting to compare in the amount of 3070s between all of these coins here. Now, I just picked a few out of the bunch. You may have another favorite, but I think everybody is familiar with Ergo, Nexa, Caspa, and Radiant. Now, of course, Nexa, Caspa, and Radiant are all very new, uh, but they've all managed to squeak out some profits since the merge. So I thought this would be a good comparison. So on Ergo, the total network hash rate, as far as 3070s are concerned, is approximately 2.3 times the size of the hash rate on Flux. Nexa is 1.73 times the current hash rate on Flux, and Caspa is over seven times the amount of hash rate, and Radiant is about 50%. So, if we take these numbers and apply it to the situation here, in terms of 3070 equivalents, if we increased the amount of hardware on Ergo by 30% of Flux's hash rate, we would be looking at an increase of 13% in regards to total hash rate on Ergo. We'd be looking at 17.3% in network hash rate on Nexa, 4% on Caspa, and 56% on Radiant. Now, using the one-third, one-quarter, one-fifth, and one-sixth, you can see this would be an increase of 5.71% if 
one third of this 30% of Flux's total hash rate migrates to Ergo. Now, if we up this a little bit and we say 40% of Flux's total hash rate migrates, you can see this drastically increases the total hash rate on other coins, uh, rendering pretty much everything unprofitable at the time of recording. Now, of course, we may have a pump in the price of each of these coins. Uh, I don't see we're I don't think we're going to see difficulty go down after the flux having, but all things are possible, right? Anyways, that is it for this video. I just thought it would be a nice, fun thought experiment to play out. We're not too far away, so we'll get some answers here in the next couple of weeks. If you guys enjoyed this content, do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you on the next one.